Wellness, everybody's talking about it all the time, asking me questions and I'm answering them and one that keeps coming up are what are the actual rules in the wellness division? That's what we're talking about today on First Call Outs. Milton from Team Flex. You're on my show, First Call Outs. Every single Wednesday, I come right here on Team Flex TV and we talk about everything for you competitors and how to get yourself into that iconic first call out. All right, today we're going to dive into the wellness division. We're going to talk about the rules. I've been covering wellness for a long, long time. You guys, I started covering wellness the day it was announced. Okay, so if you haven't been watching my videos for long, make sure you subscribe to the channel first and then you go check out some of the other videos on wellness. But People keep asking me what are the official rules, and I've never done like a specific breakdown step by step for you guys. So I'm going to do it right here, and also tell you where you can learn more about this stuff. All right, let's dive in to the actual rules of the wellness division. But first, I should probably tell you exactly what the wellness division is. If you don't know what wellness division is, you guys, again, go to the channel. But also, it's basically this middle type division between bikini and figure, okay? And most people know bikini, most people know figure, most of you know wellness by now. And if that's you, great. Basically, it's a lower body dominant version of bikini. That's really what sums it up. A little bit different in the posing. Uh, otherwise, most of the rules pretty similar. So that's what we're going to talk about. Let's dive in, you guys. So what is the wellness division? Right here, first thing. By the way, you guys, npcnewsonline.com. They have the official rules there for you. And uh, this is where I suggest you get your information if you want to refer to anything I'm talking about today. Um, go there, npcnewsonline.com. Okay, wellness division is for females with athletic physiques that showcase more body mass in the hips, glutes, and thigh area. The upper body is developed, but not to the same degree as the lower body. So basically, you guys, what this means is the asymmetrical division. It's a little bit asymmetrical, right? Where the lower body's got more development than the upper body. This is why it's different than bikini, where it's all symmetry. It's why it's different than figure. It's actually the only female division where asymmetry is what the judges want to see, okay? So keep that in mind. Now, they have two height classes, you guys. Well, they actually have several different height, height classes. Basically, it goes like this. Let's read it. Class A up to 5'4", class B over 5'4", um, and then they have a class A up to 5'4". All right, so height class is something you want to know about. Height class is basically just going to be the class that you're going to compete in based on your height. And this is how they run this at, you know, regional shows, the show you may be doing in your local town, but also at nationals. And basically, it's just based on your height, where you're going to be. This is what they do for all divisions. So nothing crazy there. Um, you'll get measured, you know, at your registrations when you guys are doing your shows and you're at check-ins. They measure you and they put you in the class you belong in based on your height. So I'm not going to dive into each individual one here, but just understand that. Now, this is where people really get their bit main questions I think and that's when it comes to posing the posing is a bit different here okay I get a lot of questions about wellness posing obviously we have a lot of wellness athletes we coach including wellness pros and uh, we're doing their posing with them but basically you know people want to know what's the difference what's allowed is it only this one pose or can you tweak it can it look like this what does the individual routine look like and here's what the rules say you guys so you have a front pose right competitors will face front with one hand on hip one arm straight down and one leg slightly extended okay so basically front pose in wellness, there's two kind of variations. You could do a much more straight on, squared up front pose you see a lot of competitors do, but also more of a side pose like we see in bikini. That's also an acceptable pose here. Okay, quarter turn to the right. Now the quarter turns are different than anything you're gonna see in bikini. Um, basically, it's just now you're gonna quarter turn and you're gonna actually show the other side of your physique. Now it says this, okay? Competitors will turn slightly facing judges with right hand on the hip and the left arm straight down, the right leg bent at the knee. More like twisting side pose pose and bikini okay so it's kind of like a side pose and bikini again this is one you can use also some variation of this as a front pose just so you guys no. Um, okay. Quarter turn to the rear. So now this is just a standard back pose, right? Um, and this is pretty much the exact bikini back pose. Competitors will face the rear with the low back arch with glutes push back. 
that's the end of the story there. And then you guys, you quarter turn again. So you quarter turn to the right one more time. You're showing that final side of your physique. Competitors will turn slightly facing judges with left hand on hip, right arm extended, left leg bent at the knee. Okay, so very similar thing. Um, basically, you're just doing a full all the way around 360 of your physique. Okay, not, not crazy. Um, but the, this is confusing to people because this is not necessarily how you perform your individual routine. Okay, and that information is not on the site. I'm chiming in here for you guys. But basically, um, what happens is that the individual, you can actually do much more like a bikini pose where you do a front pose, transition pose, boom, back pose, transition, front pose, you're out of there. You can do not all the quarter turns and everything else. You don't have to do it that way if you don't want to. Some athletes still do, um, but realistically, the quarter turns primarily are going to take place when you're in the call outs, when you're in the comparisons. So when you have all the other athletes up a stage next to you, that's when they're doing these quarter turns to kind of really compare everything and you know judge the actual class. During individual, you can do a routine much more like bikini, front and back pose, boom. And a lot of times that is what you're going to have to do now one of the notes uh that you guys want to take from this for posing is um they have changed the rules you know uh i think it was some years back now we i was talking about this before they did this uh just based on what i was hearing from judges and seeing from judging but you do not want to put your arm out to the side in any of these poses like the classic teapot arm pose you guys probably see my posts about this if you haven't check out our team flex instagram i do a lot of content over there that's going to teach you stuff um, but basically, you know, a lot of competitors, especially internationally, they got accustomed to putting their arm out to the side, kind of like this teapot. And that's why it was called the teapot pose My when I posted about it. But that's obviously not what they call it here. The way they say it is we do not want to see the arm off to the side with the elbow bent um, and the wrist bent upwards. OK, and there's photo examples on the website here, you guys. Um, so check those out, but basically, you know, you don't want to be doing that in any of the poses and that's really going to kind of sum up the rules for you guys. I mean, it's not that crazy. It's pretty standard. There's kind of FAQ on here, but you don't need any of that really. Um, the way you want to know about it is that basically it's its own division. It's not the same as bikini. I know a lot of people are confused by that. It's in between kind of the spot between bikini and figure as far as muscularity goes. Conditioning wise, it's going to be the same as bikini. It's not a hard chisel conditioning. It's a softer conditioning comparatively to figure or other divisions above um, in muscularity and conditioning in other words. And basically, you know, you want to know these rules as far as posing goes. Um, but that's really going to be the make or break for you guys. That's really the thing. The high classes don't matter too much. You're going to know those when you go to your check-ins, get, get actually measured, and they'll put you there. Um, but posing and all that, routine, presence, you want to make sure you have those things down, okay? So if anybody needs help with their posing or anything else, go to my website, teamffelex.com, and you can check out our free coaching trial. We obviously offer uh, posing coaching too. If it's something you were looking for or wanting to learn more about, you guys, that's where you've checked it out all right so please do me a favor subscribe to the channel and do me a favor share the video if you can please thank you all right guys thanks for watching coach rye is out teamflex.com presents a revolution in the online competition coaching experience contest prep has been redefined from anywhere around the world at the touch of a button your entire totally custom coaching experience built just for you Constantly monitored and adapted by your own expert competition coach. The most complete competition coaching experience awaits you now. Go to teamflex.com and try it free.